Is our world demonstrating compassion or a lack of compassion? Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study, 180 seconds of pure Bible study, three minutes, Monday through Friday. Thank you for participating and thank you for sharing this with your friends. We're continuing with our study about Jesus the man. And this week we're going to begin looking at the idea of the compassion of Jesus. Jesus was compassionate. And I asked the question, does our world demonstrate compassion or a lack of compassion? And I guess the truth is, it's a little bit of both. Back in 2010, there was this horrible story about a Guatemalan man who rescued a woman who was being beaten in a domestic abuse situation and the attacker stabbed him and he fell to the ground. And if someone would have just stopped and called an ambulance, they didn't have to do anything, just call the police, this man would have lived. But instead, there's video watching people walk by and just stare at him and they'd walk on their way. They probably thought he was a drunk or something. No one called the police. And the next morning, he was found by some city workers and doctors said, had this man received proper medical care in the proper amount of time, he could have easily lived. But people demonstrated a lack of compassion. Jesus was an individual that had great compassion. And there are great demonstrations of compassion in the world, but here's the big thing. You and I, we need to demonstrate the compassion of Jesus in our lives for other people people. And so as we think about this and we think about the idea of compassion this week, keep in mind that God the Father has a great aim for your life and for my life. And that is that we, be con that we would be conformed to the image of His Son. That's Romans 8 and verse number 29. And, and this, Paul would say, is the hope of glory, Christ in you. You want to have the very best life? You need Christ in you. You need to live like Christ. You need to act like Christ. You need to react like Christ. And that will not happen by accident. It requires effort on our part. We must be committed disciples, or can I use the word followers, diligent followers. So this week, let's dig into the scripture and see what it says about the compassion of Jesus. Join us again tomorrow.